Well, I know we're in a different situation than we've been in the past. Uh, usually we're winning down the stretch and we've been struggling. Um, but I think at the same time, um, most of our losses, almost all of our losses other than at Tennessee, have come in uh, six points or less. And we're in every game. Um, and I like, I really like our um, our competitiveness and our resiliency at, at Kentucky. Um, and I, I actually think we are headed in the right direction, and it actually built some confidence going into tournament. First, we have Justin Hubbard of the Red and Black newspaper. Uh, Coach, uh, you guys hosted Georgia, uh, I believe, for both of your uh, SEC openers, and you were able to uh, beat them down the stretch. So um, what, what do you think you guys need to do this time around to handle Georgia again? You know, I I think um, we did a good job of keeping the ball out of the paint, which is the most of the games we lost. Um, we got they got the ball into the paint too much off the dribble drive or into the post. Uh, teams that are bigger than us, which is every team in the league, um, and I think we we did a really good job of making them take perimeter shots and then um, rebounding the basketball. And I think we need to do the same thing. Okay, and. Um... Back when that game happened, uh, Shakobia Barbie uh, was sort of struggling to get her overall game going, but now she's had a pretty good string of games. So are you – has she become of greater concern for uh, the tournament game? Uh, no, you know, me, I, I was concerned with her in the first game. I mean, we really talked about her a lot. I thought she had played well preseason uh, for them, and I thought she was the key. I just thought we did a good job on her the night that we played. Um, you know, she's from Nashville, and I think she probably pro probably really put a lot more pressure. She's from this area and probably put a lot more pressure on herself um, than maybe some other games. But I, I feel like she's played well all season, and she is somebody that we're really going to have to um, contain and key on. Okay, and uh, just one last thing. Can you just comment on the overall competitiveness of um, the entire SEC this season? Yeah, I've, I've been in the league 12 years, and um, I think we did a lot of talking about from top to bottom. You know, you had to you had to be ready, um, and you couldn't get, you know, you, you you never had an off night where you could you knew you could put a W, especially um, at home. And I think you see that in a lot of these leagues, even the BCS leagues. And this is this is my first year where um, I know we've lost the most games we've lost down the stretch and at home, and I, I think it is because the new coaches in our league have done a tremendous job. Um, Auburn, Alabama, Ole Miss, uh, Mississippi State, those teams now, if you were in the upper tier, you would be beating those teams by 20 or more because they lost confidence and you didn't. And we, we have been in unbelievable games. Like I said, they've all been – six points or less with everybody. And so there is no bottom tier anymore. And what we always used to say is, is a lot more true than it used to be. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Next is Latina Robinson of Fox Sports. Hey, Coach. Um, quick question for you about the play of Kristen Gaffney. Just talk a little bit about her journey. I mean, she played just a valiant, put a valiant effort into your Kentucky game, and what has taken her to kind of get here, and what you see from her in the future. Well, you know, it's it's tough. This is a kid that tore her ACL um, in one of her last high school games, so she came here hurt, um, redshirted, and then when she got back from her injury. She tore it again, and I think first pick up of the summer tore tore her other ACL, or retore the same one, and and um, so she hasn't played basketball in three years, and that's really hard to do to get into conference play, and she was really given the opportunity because Heather Bovey um, was suspended, and had to leave the 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 season, so. You know, she was ready for her opportunity, and she's really made the most of it. I think she's confident, she's strong with the basketball, and I think she's going to make a big difference for us. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't take her out of the game at Kentucky, and that's only second game she's played in three years, and that's pretty impressive. Thank you. 
Thank you. Did you get out of Kentucky? <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, barely. I got out at uh, 2 o'clock today. Um, I wasn't able to to where I needed to be this morning, so it's it's been quite a journey. But uh, glad you guys made it out safe as well, huh? Yeah, we we got home about 9:30 last night. We got we got out of there. We're, there were some tough patches, but um, it's bad here this morning. A lot of a lot of things were closed up this morning here. Yeah, it's been r- rough, but uh, hopefully it'll clear up as we uh, head into Georgia. As you head into Georgia, well, I'm glad because I figured if I figured you guys probably had a tougher time than us. <laughs> 